So I'm about to do this hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide and baking soda mixture. This is, I guess, about one third a cup of baking soda. I didn't measure, but it looks like about one third a cup, one third or one fourth, one something. I'm, not, I'm just putting it on the top of my hair. I just want the top tips of my hair to be colored. So yeah, we're going to try this and put it on here. And it's supposed to stay on for two hours to get the color I want. So we're going to see. I got to put a plastic tight cap on it and then wrap it with a scarf because it keep it warm to get the color. The warmer it is, the more color or something like that. Been watching YouTube videos. We're going to see how it does. And this is my hair before the color. So you see, it's basically black. Basically black. So we shall see. It's supposed to make like a paste, pasty. So I think a little more peroxide. And then we're going to stir it on up. Or stir. Stir it. got to add a little bit more baking soda because it's not pasty pasty it's supposed to be pasty so I'm going to add more baking soda so I'm going to say but no it's, it's good yeah I'm going to add more baking soda adding more baking soda to thicken this up to make a paste I don't know, so I'm going to say we use about a half a cup of baking soda. Some people use the whole box, but I don't, I'm not doing, my hair short. My hair short, so I don't need a whole box. And I'm just doing the tips of my hair. The top of my hair, the tips. I want the roots to be black still. Let me get off here so I can put this baking soda in here. I guess as thick as it needs to be. I don't think it needs to be no thicker than this. But I think that's how some people are making it thicker than that. See this. I think we're gonna roll with this. What we gonna roll with? I don't know, cause then it'll get to my roots. I don't want it to, so I'm gonna make it a little thicker, y'all. This is gonna be yeah, that's pasty. Now this is kind of pasty. Lump there. This is good enough. And this stuff can be very messy. I've seen other people get it all on the clothes, all over them, and everything. So you better cover yourself up. If you want nice clothes, and just you don't want to get messed up, or just wear your regular clothes when you do this. They got people had it splattered all on because it kind of drips off or something. I don't splatters everywhere. But I got short hair, so hopefully I ain't got to worry about all that falling off and dripping everywhere and stuff. Okay, let's see how we. I just saw people using their hand. Up. No, you gotta use a brush or something, don't you? I'm. I'm just gonna use my hand because I ain't got that much hair. And you just put it on your head, basically like this. I'm gonna put it, and that's how it was. See how it falls everywhere? So I was telling y'all, it made us a mess now. It drips and falls everywhere. Put this in the hair. I want it in the back too. It's going in the back. So we gonna see. Yeah, it falls out. Keep him the bowl handy. And my hair just got cut today. So my hair is coming out into the bowl too. <laughs> so that's good because I got to wash it after I, I got to wash this stuff out. Yeah, so we going to be good. Get this good color off in here. Not trying to go too deep to the roots because like I said, I just really want it on top. If it gets to the roots, it gets to the roots. But we going to. Try to keep it on the top. I 
not you can stop so I put that much in there I put my plastic cap on I got these caps I see that expressions urban essence water resistant plastic conditioning caps with their conditioning caps so yeah put that on we had the conditioning cap on now you got to put the your hair wrap around top of it and leave it on for two hours so we're gonna leave this like this for two hours got the plastic cap underneath we're gonna see if it get the color y'all we're gonna see we'll be back in two hours okay so it's been two hours started at 1 p.m and I, it's now 3 p.m so we're gonna see and that's my first time taking it off i didn't take it off at all during the Ooh, it looked like it really really worked Ooh, told the key is two hours a lot of y'all was putting it in for like 20 minutes and 30 minutes the key is two hours i saw them videos with two hours and they got the light oh oh, oh, oh it's like blind oh. yes I don't know if he did it all throughout, but hey, I got my color. I got my color. Let me go wash this stuff out my head. But y'all see it. Y'all see it. So this is the color after rinsing it off, like a copper color. I don't know if y'all can see. Get it to get into it. I thought it was like a blind because it was so. It was probably the baking soda, but yeah, it's like a copper color. So I knew it would either be like a copper or a honey blind. So I got more of the copper, but when the sun hits it, it'll get even lighter. So this is the color that I got with the peroxide and baking soda. Now I just put some uh, Cantu curly, uh, what is it, curly cream or what, curling cream, and use some Dugro, some that blue Dugro. That's all I put in there, and I blow dried it, blow dried my hair. Cause I, of course I had to wash it to get the baking soda and peroxide out, but that's, this is the color that I have achieved with that. And that's the look. So get into it. Into the light and into the color.